Hey everyone, Jay Stucia here from Flex Innovations. Here I have the PNP configuration of the Ventic G2 60E Pro. 60E Pro, a new class of airframes for us. 60E line, obviously very popular with the Cap, Mamba, RV8, Cessna, etc. The 60E Pro class, not only designated by the material and construction that's used, such as plywood, balsa, carbon fiber, but also the very high performance equipment and how the PNP is configured. Going over some of the equipment that makes the 60E Pro line high performance and reliable, we have the dual sky motor, Hobby Wing Skywalker 100 amp ESC. Uh, this is PNP configuration, obviously, so everything mounted and wired properly. Uh, very clean install and very secure as well. We have the uh, carbon fiber prop. 16 by 7 um, very high performance this is really important to kind of bring the whole setup together and maximize performance we have the new potenza 18007 hv servos developed specifically for this line of aircraft installed in pnp configuration with the aluminum servo arms clamping style very reliable Moving on to some of the PNP features uh, on construction and installation out of the box. Uh, the cowling uh, with baffling pre-installed, uh, very important for proper cooling, especially in those warmer temperatures. Uh, moving on to the fuselage, uh, taking the canopy off one latch style here, canopy slides off. Inside the fuse, obviously very strong construction, laminated carbon fiber, balsa, light ply. Uh, extensions are run from the tail servos, one servo for the elevator and one for the rudder. Aura 8 installed for PNP. Um, you know, it's not just a flight stabilization tool, but also takes all the work and guessing uh, from the mixing, rates, that sort of thing. This airframe obviously does not require flight stabilization, also known as gyro. Uh, a lot of people, including myself, might prefer to turn the gyro off, but still utilize the mixing and rates features and adjustability of the Aura 8. We have the wings, servos mounted, and the wires run through with a small extension to reach the Aura 8. Rudder here, it's a removable rudder system, so the wire just slides through the hinges, very easy installation and removable rudder so for transportation or any possible repairs you don't have to worry about the hinging itself elevators and stabs uh, the biggest thing here um, you know same applies for the elevators and the wings pin style hinging pre-hinged and sealed the horizontal stabs are keyed so we just need to make sure that it's tightly fit to the fuselage and everything will properly align. Control horns pre-installed, same with the ailerons. Side force generators, as you can see, they're keyed here for quick release style. You don't have to pull the, the bolts all the way out at the wing tip. Back to the fuselage, we have the Flex Innovation Speed Lock System. We will get a closer look at that here in a minute. Now that we have done a bit of an overview of what comes out of the box, we're going to dive into this, tidy it up, and get it ready for its maiden flight. Beginning of the wheel assembly, we will locate the wheel itself the axle, washers, and the collar. You will notice a flat spot on the end of the axle. That is for the set screw of the collar. Once positioned, we can then tighten the set screw of the collar. Feel free to add some blue Loctite for security. We will then locate another washer and place it on the inside of the landing gear on the axle. Locate the nylock nut and begin to thread it on. We will then prepare 
for the tightening process. For this specific aircraft, the venti, the landing gear, will be swept rearwards. We can locate the wheel pants and plan accordingly. To secure the wheel pants, you will notice a small hole in the landing gear. This should line up with the threaded hole of the wheel pant. We can then take some blue Loctite and begin to secure the wheel pan. The landing gear is installed using four bolts. You can add blue Loctite to these. Locate the fully assembled landing gear and line up to the fuselage. We can then begin to thread in the bolts. Moving to the tail of the aircraft, you will notice a small piece. Remove this piece to allow access of the horizontal stab. You will notice that the horizontal stab is keyed for the fuselage. After making sure that the horizontal stab fits nice and tight, locate some thin CA and medium CA. I prefer to use the thin CA to let it soak into the joint area of the horizontal stab and fuse. We can then use the medium CA to cover the intersections of the horizontal stab and fuse. Of course, be sure to do this on both the top and bottom of the aircraft. We can then relocate our small filling piece and use medium CA to reapply. It is time to locate the rudder and the hinge wire. We will align the rudder with the pre-installed hinges and simply slide the wire in between the slots. The tail wheel installation involves three total screws, two for the main mount and one for the tiller plate that mounts to the rudder. We can now connect the linkages to the control horns on both the rudder and the elevator. The aileron is pre-installed. Notice the connected conical style ball link. This will sit directly against the control horn while the washers go between the bolt and ball link and nylock and control horn. We can now bind the airplane and make sure all servos that are now connected to the control surfaces are working properly. This is a very easy and simple process using Aura as all rates and deflections are pre-programmed. We just need to double check that all servo arms are on the correct spline. Then we can dial in our sub trims if needed. Once all is verified, 
we highly recommend to double check the tightness of all bolts and screws and even apply some blue Loctite on both the center servo arm bolt and the clamping bolt. Mounting of the cowling involves four total bolts. Put the cowling in place on the airplane and begin to thread in the bolts. You can apply blue Loctite. Placing the canopy on the airplane is a good idea for this process to allow proper tightness of the bolts. We also want to make sure that the canopy fits well underneath the top of the cowling. We can now locate the spinner and remove the bag plate. You will notice some small circular spacers that are to be placed in the center hole of the back plate. Propeller mounting involves one washer and one prop nut. Notice that for this spinner, the propeller is mounted parallel to the two spinner bolts on each side. This will make sure that we will have no contact with the propeller and the spinner itself. Here we have the Flex Innovation Speed Lock System to latch the wings in place. It involves one tab coming from the wing and the locking mechanism itself from inside the fuselage. For security, make sure that the handle fully locks itself in place my setup involves a Spectrum SRXL2 receiver ran to the Aura 8. Here you can see the receiver mounted, plugged into the Aura 8, and the two antennas ran in separate directions. Side force generator mounting is very simple thanks to the keyed bolt access and the SFG. Just make sure that the SFG spacer and bolts are in place at the wingtip and slide the SFG into place and you can move the SFG over slightly to where the bolt covers the SFG and the SFG is in alignment of the wing tip before tightening the bolt for flight. All right, so that covers the overview of the PNP assembly of the Ventic 60E Pro G2. We have our battery placed in the airframe, a Potenza 4200 milliamp 6S pack, and we're gonna let it rip. Oh, my God.